Hey guys, it's David Franco from GearPop.com, and this is my updated collection of my Xbox 360 video game library. That intro sounded a little dramatic. Either way, let's jump right into it, guys. This is something I want to do every season, kind of like Tour of a Geek's Room, but in the form of, well, Tour of my library, and maybe this will give you a good idea of decent games to pick up in the future, or after you watch this video. Alright, so first up is a game called El um, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. That's a great start to this video, David. The first up is Cameo Elements of Power. It is very reflective, so I'm going to try to hold these at a decent angle. This is a decent game. I never got too into it, but it was a, it was an original launch title, I believe, or close to the Xbox 360 launch years ago. Um, it is made by Rare, which is an awesome company back in the day. I don't really follow Rare these days. Uh, but they used to make Donkey Kong Country 64, remember that? Conker's Bad Fur Day, Banjo-Kazooie, some of my favorite childhood memories in terms of platformers. This is decent, I mean, I just never really got into it. It's cool nonetheless, though. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Just Cause, this is definitely a GTA clone, or slash wannabe, whatever you want to call it. But I will say, it's a damn beautiful clone at that. The gameplay mechanics kind of suck. I, I wasn't really a fan of the physics and the driving and how the game felt overall. But how the game looked overall, downright beautiful. I mean, freaking amazing game in terms of graphics. So if you want to see amazing graphics and a nice blur feature, check it out. Just Cause 2 is out, so you might want to just go over that one instead. I don't have that, but just saying. Rayman Origins was sponsored via DavidsWishes.com, which I greatly appreciate. And I did beat it. Amazing platformer, amazing art style, classic 2D gameplay. So if you're looking for a game like this, definitely check it out. You will not be disappointed. Seriously, that is probably one of my favorite games of last year. Oh, and you can find footage of this over at YouTube.com slash Gaming. Right below, check it out. Speaking of DeFranco Gaming, this is also... No, wait, I think I bought this for myself. Yeah, I believe I bought this myself. Uh, but this is also over at DeFranco Gaming. I have a handful of videos on it. SSX, the brand new one that came out last year, amazing game. Online play was a major disappointment because uh, I don't believe you can race in real time. It's more of like racing your friend's ghosts, which is cool, but I like that real-time racing and trash-talking, and that's that's what makes it fun in my opinion. But overall, still a really great game. Um, a lot of unlocks, uh, unlockables, that's the better word. Gears of War 3, which I still have yet to finish. I'm such a bad person sometimes. Um, I have finished Gears of War 1 and 2. Gears of War 3, I kind of got distracted because I was doing a walkthrough on the Franco Gaming, then all the audio stuff happened. But the Franco Gaming is not dead. Actually, go over there. As of today, I uploaded a new video updating the future of its channel. So go over there to check out the details. But Gears of War 3, great game. Mortal Kombat, excellent game. The fatalities and the x-rays that you can do in this game. Freaking outstanding. Shao Kahn, or however the hell you say his name, still pisses me off to this day. But, still, great game. Give it a try. Connect Adventures, gotta be honest, I haven't played this in a long time. It was kind of gimmicky, uh, gimmicky at first. This is definitely something you gotta play with friends. I mean, playing it by yourself, it's, it just, it's like playing a game like Mario Party by yourself. It's just not meant to be. But either way, this is a great demonstration of what the Kinect is uh, capable of. And if you're playing with a party, it is it is a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. Connectimals. Yes, I have Connectimals. Don't laugh. This is definitely more of a single player game where you take it you where you take yeah, take advantage of your animals. That's horrible. Where you take care of your animals. It's kind of like virtual pet uh style of gameplay, but in beautiful graphic form. I mean, these graphics are amazing and it's actually pretty fun considering what it is. Even for a 27-year-old, I gotta say, it's pretty sweet. Fable 3, which is still in the plastic. I got this when I won my Xbox 360 Arcade Edition on Quibids. I think it was the Arcade Edition. It came with Fable 3. I never opened it, and I still have it. Maybe, it, maybe it'll be worth money someday. I highly doubt it. But I want to ask you guys, is this worth playing? Let me know. Maybe I'll dive into it and put some footage over on the Franco Gaming Strictly Gameplay. Skyrim, amazing game. Unfortunately, I got distracted because I think I bought another game close to this, uh, close to that time frame. Um, that's one of my cons in life is that I get too easily distracted. Um, but anyway, that's beside the point. Skyrim is amazing. Um, if you're into the whole open-ended gameplay, you will like this very much. The only major downside about this is that it's not online. 
after playing games like WoW years ago, it's just walking around, you feel lonely and you wish that you could be interacting with real players because with a world this vast, it's screaming to be online. But the good news is, I believe they are making an MMO version of Elder Scrolls, I think. And if so, sign me up. I will be there day one. All right, Battlefield 3 Limited Edition. Great game. I never got too into it because, in my opinion, it fails in regards to mechanics of the gameplay. And it's just a very buggy and glitchy game, uh, glitchy game in terms of audio and how you control your character. Now, I'm not saying... It's a fail in general. It's a very fun game. Uh, it's a great game, actually. But I'm more of a Call of Duty kind of person. Black Ops 2, I'm playing the hell out of this game lately. I freaking love it. I just prestiged for the second time, and I really like how you can permanently unlock an item now. So now I have my tactical insertion, because I love freaking people out in their own spawns. I just I get off on that when people freak out uh, when I kill them. Not that I'm a spawn killer, but... If I'm there and they spawn, obviously I'm going to kill them. But that's beside the point. Anyway, Black Ops 2, amazing game. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of Call of Duty because it hasn't evolved over the years. But you know what they say. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, that's horrible grammar. So speaking of Black Ops, here's the original Black Ops. I love this game. It had many issues in terms of uh, boosting. Boosting apparently is still in Black Ops 2, but they have cut down on it big time since Modern Warfare 3 and the original Black Ops. Great game either way. <clears throat> Or, I mean, Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops. Modern Warfare 3 came out after Modern War Anyway. Modern Warfare 2. This is my first real Call of Duty game that I played online. Amazing. I still can't... I mean, I couldn't believe at the time how immersive it was in terms of getting points and unlocking perks. And to this day, I still appreciate that aspect of the Call of Duty series. And that's, th that's why I enjoy it so much more than Battlefield. It's just my personal opinion. Eternal Sonata. This is actually Richie's game, uh, also known as Super R. It's his nickname, and I'm Big D. We have nick. We're just weird like that. Anyway, uh, this is a beautiful game. Unfortunately, I never got around to finishing it, but I know Richie loves this game. The music is amazing, though. I gotta say, the music's amazing. The RPG um, elements are really fun. Just one of those games I never got around to finishing. Maybe I will eventually. All right, getting back into Call of Duty. These are obviously out of order. I gotta fix that after this video. Call Call of Duty: Modern Warfare Three. Awesome game. I mean, why wouldn't you like it if you're into the Call of Duty series? Saints Row the Third. I still have not finished this, but it is a lot of fun. I mean, it's like GTA, but more customizable. Um, and it's a lot of fun. Did I already say that? I believe I did. Next up is Halo 3, the limited edition. So I did get the tin case. I actually haven't opened this in a while. Uh, yeah, you get one disc as well as... Big old manual and art book, and the log, which is cool. It has like drawings and notes in it and stuff. It's pretty cool. I might have an unboxing of this on my channel. I'm not sure. I think I do actually. Just go to my channel and search Halo 3. Next up, DJ Hero 2. I gotta be honest, I didn't get into this as much as I wanted to, mainly because the accessory required me to play on like a flat service, uh, you know, such as a table. Uh, so I found myself playing on the floor, which is not comfortable. It's just how my setup is. Uh, but now that I have my own place, I do have my coffee table, so it would be easier to play. So maybe I should get back into this. And by the way, when I got this, I didn't have my own place for the new viewers out there. Um, so that could change things. All right, Condemned 2 Bloodshot, guys. I'm actually thinking of going through this again. I was just thinking about this the other day. Condemned 2 is one of the scariest, freakiest games I've ever played. This game scares the shit out of me. I mean, I think it's the one with the bear. Or there might be the first Condemned. Either way, Condemned 1 and 2, if you're looking for a good horror series, pick it up. You could probably get this for like $10, maybe less. Great game. Burnout Paradise. Amazing game. I had so much fun with this, just cruising around, um, earning achievements, all the unlockables, you know, uh, you know, so just smashing billboards, and just overall, great game, and very... Oh, such a beautifully done game. I mean, this game is a work of art when it comes to crashes. The, the things they pull off still blows my mind to this day. Yes, as you can see, I'm very passionate about my games. All right, Gears of War 2 goes without saying. Awesome game. And Gears of War 1, the original one, great game. 
I don't, I don't want to spend too much time on them because I already talked about Gears of War 3. All right, Grand Theft Auto 4, if you didn't know, Grand Theft Auto 5 was unfortunately delayed till the fall, which is fine by me. I mean, if they have to delay it to make it even better, who cares? I mean, take your time, Rockstar. I mean, you guys have yet to disappoint me with any GTA games. And yes, it's 2 o'clock. Thank you, Mr. McIntosh. Is it 2? Yeah, 2 o'clock. GTA 4, amazing game. I still have not purchased um, The Ballad of Gay Tony. Um... I just never got around to it, but I heard it's very good. Maybe I'll get a. Maybe I will download that soon. It's probably even cheaper. But still, amazing game. And yes, you will hear me say amazing game a lot in this video. I'm not trying to sound repetitive. It's just I like to think I have good taste in games for the most part. Figures I say that, and I'm about to show off Dan Central. This is fun. Again, with a friend or family member, whoever you're playing with. Uh, but this is a great demonstration of the Kinect and how accurate it is. I was definitely impressed. Sonic Free Riders, I gotta be honest, I've played this once or twice. It's not that great. I'm sorry. It's just. Hmm. Maybe I will give it another shot soon. I doubt it. Speaking of bad, Deca Sports Freedom? Don't even give it a shot. Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. This is my first real Guitar Hero game that I became obsessed with. I love this game. Such a good soundtrack. Um, I do have the wired. Um, guitar, and if you're looking for the unboxing, just search my channel, Guitar Hero. Halo 4! I did recently take a break from this because I've been obsessed with Black Ops 2 and I've been prestiging and, you know, I play basically every night. My gamer tag is Blurred Pixels, in case you're wondering. Uh, blurred, space, pixels. Two separate words. But Halo 4 is amazing. It's just, the, the multiplayer is so much fun, but I just took a break when Black Ops 2 kind of took over my life. However... Going against that, I believe Spartan Ops is back for Season 2. I think they're calling it Season 2, or maybe it's just the second half of Season 1. Either way, Spartan Ops is back. I think the other one just came out yesterday as of this recording. Um, so that could be my excuse to get back into it. Look at this tower, guys. It's going to be falling over soon. It's not very sturdy. Halo Reach, great game. A lot of people were disappointed by Halo Reach. I freaking loved it. I thought it was, well... An epic game, and I try not to use the word epic too much, but you gotta understand, I love Halo for the uh, vehicles. Vehicles, in my opinion, make a game so much more interesting um, online, especially when you're blowing up warthogs and blowing up ghosts. It's just a great feeling when you throw that frag grenade and you see the enemies coming with the flag, and then the grenade blows up just in time to blow up the warthog, and they go flipping, you kill them, return the flag. That is a good feeling. That is why I love playing Halo online. Halo 3 ODST, this goes against my hype for Halo, but this was my, I don't know, least enjoyed game in the Halo series, I guess you could say. I did not like ODST very much. I was literally falling asleep. That's just me. But Reach came into my life and fixed that, so. But still, I give Bungie props for trying something new. All right, Halo Combat Evolved. This was sponsored via DavidSwitches.com. I still have not opened it. I know, I'm very bad, but that's just because I ran into many problems with my gaming channel. But, you can bet your butts, this will be on the Franco Gaming within a week or two. I'm currently having a new setup put together, and I will put gameplay videos on there very soon. Condemned Criminal Origins goes back to Condemned 2, and my thoughts, it's really no different. Uh, this is a fantastic game if you're looking for a horror and a way to freak you out. Trust me, turn your lights off. Turn up your volume, and this game will scare the shit out of you. You hear psychopaths banging conduit on pipes. By the way, conduit is one of my favorite words because of this game. There's a lot of conduit. Um, and you just hear psychos like dragging pipes in, in, in the background, especially if you, you, uh, if, if you have your uh, surround sound. I'm tripping over my words because I get really excited. But guys, just check it out. Check it out. Great game. Did I just hit the mic? If I did, I apologize. Unreal Tournament 3. Great classic game for Xbox 360. A lot of fun. I don't know if the servers are still online. They might be. It's a good question. Maybe I should sign on tonight. And finally, closing it out with Virtual Fighter 5 online. I'm not a huge Virtual Fighter fan, but I do have to say I respect the series for how well done uh, it's been over the past few years. I mean, this is, like, in my opinion, the classic fighting game kind of style. I mean, this isn't Mortal Kombat. It's not dramatic. You really got to know what you're doing. You got to know on the block. You got to know the combos, and it's tough online. I mean, if you take this game online, um, and you're used to games like Mortal Kombat, 
you will get your ass kicked. I know I do. I, I'm, I'm just not very good at Virtual Fighter. But I do have very good memories of Virtual Fighter 2 for the Sega Saturn. I believe it was a Sega Saturn. Either way, great memories. And there you go. There's my Xbox 360 collection. Not as neatly stacked as it was in the beginning of this video. But if you do guys... That just came out weird. But if you guys do have any questions regarding any of these titles, just let me know. Comment below and I'll be sure to answer these questions in the best way possible. And of course, guys, if you do have any title recommendations, just comment below and I will take them into consideration. Because trust me, I do realize I do not have certain titles, such as Dead Space. I think Dead Space is pretty cool. I just never got around to buying it. I don't have L.A. Noir. Uh, I know, that's bad. I don't have Mass Effect. I never got into that series, but maybe I will eventually. And I especially don't have Red Dead Redemption. I'm sorry, I'm probably in the minority. I'm not a big Red Dead Redemption fan. It just felt like GTA with a Western skin. That's just how I feel about it. But we'll leave it on that note. I think overall I do have a decent collection, um, and I will definitely be playing Black Ops 2 tonight. Not that that means anything to you guys, but if you do want to add me on Xbox Live, uh, my gamer tag is right below. My friends this is most likely full, but I do take off friends that I haven't been on in more than 20 days. Uh, that's kind of my fair way of keeping uh, slots open for gamers that want to join me. And that about wraps it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video.